it's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Rogan Art Family. And so today you're going to be hearing my thoughts on my first experiences with digital painting. And that's coming up right about now, coming up soon. So yeah, peace out. What's going on guys? We welcome you to the Yogono Art Family. It's time for evolution. And so in today's video, I'm going to be speaking about my experiences with traditional, uh, not to, uh, digital painting. Digital, digital painting, that's what I'm going to be speaking about. And so for a while, I was uh, a little bit hesitant about getting into uh, digital painting because it did seem overwhelming for me at the time. So uh for example they they have uh you know when it comes to digital paint paintings they offer you a, a whole load of brushes and and whatnot and uh it felt overwhelming at the time until i started to actually learn you know you know the basic brushes that i really need to like produce the art and so you know that's what i wanted to uh you know kind of conquer and you know uh step out of my my comfort zone in a sense i wanted to uh go into uh uh, digital painting to 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 broaden my my horizons you know and so during the process it was difficult uh you know it, at, from the start it was difficult like learning certain things learning shortcuts you know learning uh what things do and whatnot but you know eventually after after a week or so i started to like adapt what was going on i started to adapt like drawing with uh, the tablet and you know adapt uh, like uh, drawing in Photoshop and coloring and etc. You know eventually I'm I, I started like getting used to it you know and I'm sure I'll get even more used to it like the more I start doing digital painting you know and so like the message I want to spread uh, through my experiences is that uh, you know don't be afraid to to jump out of your comfort zone don't be afraid to to try something new you know uh there they it may be hard at first but eventually it'll get easy it may be like you may not know exactly where you're gonna go but just like just jump into the fire you know jump into the to the flame you know jump into the into the uh, discomfort until it gets until it gets comfortable for you so rather you're learning how to you know draw draw you know humans like anatomy or rather you're learning how to draw backgrounds you know jump into that jump into the uh, discomfort and eventually you know you'll you'll become more comfortable with it and so that's how i was with uh with uh, digital painting and also that's how i was with uh, tr traditional art believe it or not you know so like uh so when i did buy the copic markers it wasn't until like three years later i started using and like uh you know adapting to the copic markers because you know during those 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 times i wanted to like also like understand my and evolve my knowledge in in terms of shading and lighting and etc you know and so in the past a few like years ago when i bought the copic markers i came in with the mindset that you know these copic markers are going to you know tremendously improve my art magically however you know that that wasn't the case you know i had to have a, a prior understanding of 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 shading you know you know color theory you know etc i had to have these experiences so i could you know better apply them to the work that i was producing so remember that the the tools do not make the artist the artist the artist makes the artist you know so once you understand uh color theory and and shade types you know how to apply certain shade types into uh you know a certain medium you can apply that your understanding of shade types and color theory into various different uh mediums you know, all you have to do is understand the the technicalities of certain mediums, such as you know the water the watercolor technicality using certain uh, so a, a stronger paper. You know, understanding how to like really blend with the watercolor. Likewise with uh, with uh, you know with charcoal, the technicalities to, to charcoal drawing, using the the blend pen pen pencil. 
and using the kneaded eraser certain certain techniques to to do that the technicalities you know but you know the technicalities are the technicalities what you want is understanding the basic fundamentals of shading and coloring and then you apply that to other stuff after you've learned the technicalities so for the technicalities to photoshop i i wanted to i had to understand you know the the brush the the pen pressure uh uh the pen like certain things when it comes to pen pressure uh understanding like the the in, the interface how to easily uh improve your workflow when it comes to digital painting understanding which tools in photoshop to you know use for you know great great effects you know such as like the smudge tool how to like really use that etc uh you know these are the technicalities you know after you've learned the technicalities that's when you can use your your prior knowledge of you know shading and coloring you know to make to make the art you want to make and so let's say you're a complete novice you've never had drawing experience such as, such as shading or coloring or whatnot and so you're going into it for you're going into a painting class for the first time and let's say you meet an acquaintance right and that acquaintance it's also their first time uh painting so they may paint and and their painting may look like such a wonderful beautiful work you know but you know and and when you compare your painting to them you may see like a difference in in terms of skill level and you'll think to yourself maybe this person is just is just gifted you know maybe maybe i'm not i'm i can't get to that level maybe maybe you know drawing is gift based you know and you know that's not the case that's that's like very surface level to think about you know what what i would you know challenge you guys to, to do is think of it as like a you know a wider give it give it a wider perspective you know that acquaintance may have you know may have studied shading and coloring from different mediums they may have studied shading and coloring from from uh, charcoal drawings or or um or, or uh, copic marker drawings or marker drawing etc watercolor etc they may have have the experience with shading and coloring and now they're applying it to a new medium which is painting you know and so when you're comparing yourself with someone who has like ex prior experience with shading and coloring it doesn't work out you know all, all you have to do is um just understand you know uh, become better than who you were yesterday focus on yourself focus on growing yourself you know there's no need to compete focus on growing and evolving yourself your art you know and uh focus on uh just improving your fundamentals of of shading and once you do that you, you can you can uh apply that to various other mediums you know of you know you can apply that to to charcoal to to mark to copic markers etc you know you can apply that to anything even if it's your first time doing those mediums and so where i'm at at the moment when it comes to uh digital uh art or digital painting is uh i'm i'm at the stage where i'm i'm tracing the line work i'm not able to like uh, really construct the the image like uh without having a, a scanned image first you know i'm not that comfortable yet i know eventually i will get to that level where i can just you know draw freely on the on the on the uh <clears throat> on the uh the tablet and then you know have my imagination come to life but i'm not at that moment i'm not at that level yet so i usually just sketch on paper uh scan it and then i i trace it with the uh with the um with the tablet on a uh on on digital and that's what you're seeing right now on the picture with avax who is uh, one of my characters from oscar and for those of you of the <laughs> For those of you who've seen my past works, such as uh, my uh, uh, cell shading uh, digital colors, uh, yes, that was uh, part of it was done digitally, but most the, the foundation was done traditionally. So I would uh, sketch it and then I would use my inks. I would ink it traditionally, and then that's when I would scan it, and then that's when I would uh, apply my flats, and then I would uh, do some of the the the, the, uh, the shading with my mouse. You know with the marquee tool and then you know go on from there because you know it, it's a you know a self it's it's a very appealing style but at the same time it's it is basic you know 
However, I wanted to branch out more, you know. And also, when it comes to uh, you know my my screen tones, that's also done digitally. So I just apply them and use the mouse, and you know I apply them. I select a certain location that I want to apply it to in my comic, and then I do that. And also use like Photoshop to like clean up the artwork and you know all that all that jazz, like you know. So you know, but at the end, I like I wanted to again branch out and experience something new, and so I wanted to dive into. You know digital painting so when it comes to digital painting you know a tablet is necessary if you want to access the if, if you want to access the, the brushes of you know pen pressure uh feature and uh you know you know improve a little bit with that so it is, i wanted to again just branch out experience new things you know so the motto of this video is to not let your fears or self-doubt dictate what you want to learn so if you want to learn backgrounds you know dive into learning backgrounds don't be afraid of it if you want to learn coloring uh, dive into coloring if you want to learn anatomical uh, anatomical stuff you know dive into anatomical stuff you don't need to be a, a gifted you don't need to, to to be any of that you know you, all you can do you just have to just keep on learning you know our emotions and our our mindset dictates what we are going to experience what we are going to how much information we're going to gather you know and so yeah this was my first uh, digital painting experience and so if you enjoyed the video feel free to like subscribe and you know also comment comment what you feel about the video how was your own di digital painting experience have you have you tried it out and also I'll have a link down below in the description or the pinned comments of the tutorial that I use to start to get into digital painting in Photoshop, you know, and yeah, and likely I'll be moving on to, you know, Manga Studio, you know, just to branch out, you know, test out certain uh, uh, things, test out different things and different softwares and whatnot. So yeah, that's the video. Peace. Feel free to subscribe and caress that bell button if you enjoyed this video.